JulianBeats.com. Beats for the music industry. Time for a flow about ecosystems. So sit on back and give this track a listen. You already have a good working definition. You know what goes into an ecosystem. Abiotic factors are the ones where life is missing, whereas biotic factors are made up of the living. Mix them all up and competition is a given. We'll come back to that, but first the organization. One organism is a single living thing. A group of the same species is a population. A group of populations in the same environment is a biological community, some of which are violent. That brings us back to an ecosystem. Living and non-living together, don't you miss them? I said we'd come back and now we've come back to it. Let's look at competition in the environment. First, let's start with a bit about predation. Someone eats someone at a given location. Whether hunting, stalking, waiting, or getting animals some other way, predators do the eating, and what's eaten is the prey. But sometimes two species end up living closely together with each other and sharing life mostly. We call this close living symbiosis. There are three types of symbiosis. When both are helped, it's known as mutualism. When one is helped and one is hurt, that's parasitism. Finally, when there's a benefit to one organism, but the other's not helping or hurt, that's commensalism. Many species are involved in relationships like this. Without symbiosis, most things would not exist. Now a quick bit about change over time. If left undisturbed environment grows to climb, max through a process that's known as succession, it's a series of changes in a long progression where nothing's there to start like rock from lava and eruptions. It's hard to get things going after the total destruction. It takes a long time and this is primary succession. If it follows on the heels of a major disruption, think forest fires, floods, and minor eruptions, then what we have there is secondary succession. Both of these require some kind of pioneer species, which are the first organisms to establish their niches. These hardy organisms can provide an opportunity for bigger things to come and grow to a climax community. Here's the last verse, it's about energy flow. All our food chains start with the lowly autotroph. These organisms can make their own food, either chemically or with light, either way it is good. And this provides the food that animals will consume. Different words for different types based on their menus. Herbivores eat plants and carnivores eat meat. But omnivores eat wherever there's opportunity. Primary consumers are the ones that eat producers. Secondary consumers eat the ones that eat producers. Tertiary consumers can feast on all of the above. And food webs and chains can show all these relations.